one late winter evening, Henry was going to sleep just before he was going to pull the flying kipper. Don't tell Gordon, but I think if you pull the kipper nicely, Henry, you might pull the express. The special goal has helped you a lot, old boy. It really changes. Hurrah! cried Henry. It will be lovely! The next morning, Henry arrived to the kipper at the docks. Usually, the kipper was being pulled in the morning, and so you'd smell a little sign of fish, maybe if you'd be close. That's why they call it the Flying Kipper. Henry was ready at five o'clock, and at that time, he backed up to his train on time. The man hustled and bustled, putting the crates of fish in the vans. The last van would be put in, and the guard blew his whistle, and the flying kipper was ready to set off. Come on, come on, don't dawdle, don't dawdle. The vans shuddered. Crickety crock, crickety crock, they went. Trock, trick, trock, trick, all right, all right. Trickety trock, trickety trock. Much better, much better, that's better, yes. Move on, shall we? Steam poured out of Henry's funnel as he went on down the line. Hurry, 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 said Henry. And we moved on, he saw a yellow signal down the line. He was prepared to stop, but the signal was down. All cleared, Henry. Away we go, I assume. They couldn't know that the points were frozen and up to a siding. The points should have been sent danger, but the points were frozen down the line. A good strain was up on the siding down the line to let the kidder pass. Some workmen were in the brake van. The kippers do, said the guard. Who cares, said the fireman. This is good cocoa. The driver got up. Don't be lazy. We've got work to do. The crew got up, but just in time. Because Henry was coming with the kipper quite quickly. Henry's driver and fireman had jumped clear before, and luckily, in the morning, Henry was off the rails, but with no one being hurt. Henry lay dazed and surprised. The fat controller tried to reassure Henry about the incident, and made him feel special afterwards. Don't worry, Henry. It wasn't your fault. I didn't snow calls the accident. I'll send you to crew, a fine place for the engines. <clears throat> oh yes, sir, that will be nice. When Henry came back, he was a new and different engine. I'm sorry to say that children were right after school to see Henry pull by with the express. It made Gordon personally jealous.